If you really want to find the good deals, you have to sort of make it like a part-time job. Welcome to Supers Farm. We're the Supers, and in this episode, we're going to install an entryway gate and drip irrigation. Yeah, peace, family. Peace, peace. So then you guys bumped into me starting some fencing at the entry of the property. And we just let everybody know somebody's living here. And try to set our boundary lines. And I'm starting with is my corner post connected to the other property line post. So we already have the neighbor's property line defined. We actually got some wire running. I might have touched it when it's time for me to go this way. I'm not sure what direction. I'm starting off with 4x4 four four corner posts. None too fancy. 4x4 four four corner posts, pine, treated wood. And we got the 1x6 plank fence post that we use to make the shape of the fence. So I'm starting off with my corner posts. I got my line drawn. Make sure everything nice and even, the best I can do. And these may have to get some concrete poured. Today we're just setting up the perimeter line. At least get something done for the day. Okay, here is the original sort of like entryway point to the property. And we think we may leave this here just for a little bit of nostalgia. We might try to blend it in with what Super's doing. And then there's a tree island. It's going to get a makeover very soon. And then connecting to our neighbor's yard on that side. So I'll back up and give you the whole frame. wanted to give an update to our in-ground garden all of the rows are done and super put in a gate for me so that was very nice I planted some snap peas some sh I think they're called sugar daddy snap peas I amended the soil with the black cow uh, manure compost because I did a little research and found that when you have sandy soil like this, um, it really needs a way to retain the nutrients. And so a lot of people recommended this black cow. And I've used black cow before, I really like it. Um, we had clay in Houston and now we have sand. So, and it's literally like the beach. Um, you can kind of see the progress on the walkway that I've made um a little bit a little bit over halfway done with just this one walkway um, what i'm doing is removing the excess sand and taking it over to our raised bed garden area so i'll show you what that looks like 
Here you have it. So this is all the dirt that came out of half of one walkway. Um, <laughs> not quite filled up, um, but you know, I w really want to get one bed filled so that I can start planting. I am a little concerned that we should fence off this four corner garden as well because there are deer. We saw deer back there. They're coming to the creek. If you guys remember, there's a creek that goes all the way around our property. And the creek literally is here. I'll just walk over there and show you guys. Okay. The creek is right there. Okay, you see that? And so the deer are coming to get a drink. I guess that's what they're doing. <laughs> and I will be so heartbroken if those stinky deer come over here and try to eat my garden. So I think Super is going to put up a fence around this area as well. Because we don't want to lose, we don't want to lose any of our, our plants. I got a really good deal on some drip irrigation at the end of last season. And so even though I'm not done taking the soil out of those rows and moving it over to our raised garden bed area, I decided to go ahead and pull out that drip irrigation just to sort of get an idea of, of how it's going to work in this area so that I can start possibly moving over some transplants um, to the in-ground garden area. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you guys the drip irrigation that I have. I got these, I got four of them at the end of the season last year for $5. And these are still on the Lowe's website for $60. So an amazing steal I got. And then they also just had some loose tubing. The big coil was $5 and the little coil was $1. And so I don't know, I picked up maybe five of each of the, the plain coils and I, I got all the kits that they had there in the store, which was only a handful of them. So I think what I'm going to do is try to lay these out. This kit says it covers 100 linear feet. So that's going to be about one row, one full row. But I was thinking of go ahead and laying out the drip irrigation so that I can start planting in the soil. Realistically, I don't think I'll be able to water as often as I need to out here and I have these kits that I got like I said for five dollars so we're gonna give it a go and one more thing I wanted to add I love finding a good deal um, it is work I mean sometimes you can stumble upon you know a good sale or you know something like that but if you really want to find a good deal you have to sort of make it like a part-time job I go to my Lowe's frequently I go to my Home Depot dollar stores um i'm always checking the local ads you know because those things come they do come up but you got to be on it and you got to be ready so just always keep you a little emergency stash for good deals just because you go in the store doesn't mean you have to buy something only if you know it's going to be worth it is when i go ahead and i just clean them out so just wanted to share that with you guys
all done installing the drip irrigation for the one row in which I'm about halfway done removing the sand from the walkway. Overall, I think it took me about mm, maybe about 30 minutes. You know, I was recording each step, so I would say maybe about 30 minutes altogether to install this on this one row. And that was, you know, my first time doing it with reading the instructions and all. So it's relatively easy and I'm really excited because that means I can just turn on the hose and not have to walk up and down this huge garden area to water our plants.